Good afternoon. I'm here to see Assistant Director Harold Cooper. Do you have an appointment? I do not. Tell him it's Raymond Reddington. I'm the case agent on Reddington. When did this happen? Under an hour ago. We confirm it's actually him? It's him, all right. Prints match, tattoos. Even volunteer classified details about a Brussels mission in 08. What happened in Brussels? Sir? Try to kill him, sir. It really is him. Came in with a briefcase containing every alias he's ever used. Nothing we never even heard of. What does he want? Don't know, won't talk. He's a stone. Call lab services. Have them fit him with an alpha chip RFID tag. Assemble a full intel review, NSA, CIA. What exactly do you want to know? Everything. Raymond Red Reddington attended the Naval Academy, top of his class. Graduated by the time he was 24. He was being groomed for admiral. Then, in 1990, Reddington's coming home to see his wife and his daughter for Christmas. He never arrives. This highly respected officer often disappears from the face of the earth until four years later. When he's classified, no foreign documents start showing up in Maghreb, Islamabad, Beijing. These leaks were traced to Reddington. This guy's an equal opportunity offender, a facilitator of sorts, who's built an enterprise brokering deals for fellow criminals. Ouch. He has no country. He has no political agenda. Reddington's only allegiance is to the highest bidder. They call him something in the papers. Constant years of crime. He's online. Evidently, someone with the authority to make decisions has arrived. I think I smell the stench of your cologne, Agent Cooper. It smells like hubris. Get these feet fixed. I want them up here. Come on. You must have many questions. So let's begin with the most important one why I'm here. Remember the 1986 attack on the U.S. Embassy in Damascus? The abduction of the six foreign nationals from the French consulate in Algiers in 97? Or the 2002 breach of the Krung Pai Bank in Bangkok? You see these events as unrelated. I can tell you one man is responsible for all three. His name is Ronko Zamani. You want him. I want him. So let's say for the moment our interests are aligned. Ronko Sinisa Zamani, Serbian national educated in the U.S. Ronko Zamani's been dead for six years. He's a non-existent threat. Then a dead man just stepped off United 283 from Munich to Dallas. He entered the country under the name Sasha M. Chaco. Cleared customs at 10.56 a.m. Hey, up, people. The lab just pulled a latent print from the airline armrest. Nine points in comparison. Damani's alive. You have my attention. Were you wrong? I was wrong. Yes, you were wrong. This is not the first time in familiar territory. Now, I'll give you Zamani, but first... No but firsts. You don't decide anything. Agent Cooper, you've overestimated your authority. I said I'll help you find Zamani, and I will. But from this point forward, there's one very important rule. I speak only with Elizabeth Keene. Who the hell's Elizabeth Keene? 